gonna walk out on me, are you? What's that, what, all the girls do? Hello and welcome to the end of year review farewell interview with Mr. The one and only Mr. Danny Rickard. How you doing, mate? Yeah. Are you going to leave me hanging? Was... Alright, good. Uh, Your hands are very sweaty. Anything, sorry? Your hands are very sweaty. I know. Your <laughs> lips are very wobbly. <laughs> right, anyway, we're going to, before I say anything, um, that video that Dave made for you, um, how do you feel about that? That's nice. Happy? Yeah, it was very, very, very nice. You said your nan. Didn't, didn't expect it, man. My nan watched it and she cried. Did you get emotional? A little bit, yeah. It must be nice, though. Something I was very hungover when I watched it, oh. but I think so. My tears were sort of non existent, but oh. I was very, very emotional. It was quite funny. The Lydia was videoing me. Oh, okay. It's vi like a reaction video. <laughs> You're not one to be in front of camera too much. No, as you can tell. So I prefer being behind the camera, that's sort of my thing. Um, and being in front of the camera hasn't ever really been my thing either. I get a bit awkward in front of the camera, I don't know why. You know, I, 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 you're a very good looking bloke. I'm, I'm surprised that you're, you're not in front of the camera. All the time. Is it hot in there? Sexual chemistry. Um, anyway, um, yeah, for, I guess first thing to say it's been an extremely hectic successful though i'd say year for sushi tv what have been your sort of main personal highlights Give uh, three three the three so the first one was live your life at the start of the year yeah. that was probably one of the most stressful and busiest times but yeah. also the results that came out of it were probably some of the best um i've ever got up to um with tom's help and yeah. stuff like that professional actors which is a bit of a strange one because it's not like working with your mates it's sort of there's a lot more pressure, like when they were turning up, we were like, is everything ready, are we good to go? And then, but they were actually quite chilled out and we ended up being quite good friends with them by the end of it. Second one was probably, probably the freshest stuff we did actually. I was quite proud of the effort everyone put in on that. Um, be it the videos we did before freshers and the stuff we did during, I think it was all quite high quality. Um, and I'm still annoyed that we got the same score as the highly commended video, but we didn't get an award yeah. for it. But NASA, yeah, at yeah. NASA. And then obviously the third highlight will probably be NASA for me. Um, winning best cinematography, but then also, uh, well, you guys getting the best documentary at your first NASA. Took me four years to get <laughs> to get one, and you guys, you guys smashed it in the first year. Um, and then someone won another one. Yeah, but I think I someone, someone did. Yeah. I don't know. Who best that was. female. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't best female, wasn't it? Best, best something. Talent. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. I think it was you, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was me. I just yeah. did one video, <laughs> smashed it. Um, yeah, I mean, we can't not mention uh, Nasta. Um, were you honestly expecting the level of success, considering the quality of videos? Because I watched the uh, videos from the latter years, and, and they were they were good, uh, like last year's as well. But were you genuinely expecting to win three? In no. Five no, because in previous years we've been like, like the first year I went it was like, oh this video is great, it's going to smash it, yeah. and then it was like, no. And then sort of you up the quality and you're like, right this year we've done better than last year, we've got this, and then it was like, no. And then yeah. uh, you sort of just get used to like <laughs> not really wanting to expect it, you just sort of, you go there for a different reason, but winning it sort of tops off the, yeah. tops off the weekend, and then when we got three and I highly commended, I was like, Whoa! Well, <laughs> like I was, whereas it matched Sushi TV's best performance ever at NASTA, yeah. so I feel like that's a pretty good achievement. It was obviously NASTA involved a lot of stress. Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what would you say was the most stressful point of that NASTA um, sort of preparation, and was it worth it? Um, like when stuff is rendering. Yeah. and you've got like an hour till the deadline and it's all down to the computer and the internet speed, like yeah. something you have no control over. It's like, I'm there fiddling with all the render settings, like trying to get it the best quality, but with the fastest time. And and then when we had one that we just got an error and it kept erroring and erroring and erroring and we submitted it late and unfortunately they said no. Which one was that again? Uh, the Mars Elbrogi one. Uh, Sorry, Jeff and Molly. As well, so. um, but yeah, things that are sort of out of your control, I mean, what I would say is, is just don't do what we did and leave it to the last minute but then with uni and everything else like freshers, elections, everything else going on that's sort of a bit difficult to not leave it to the last minute um, yeah. but yeah next year get prepared to spend a lot of time in the studio. 
<laughs> yeah, I was going to say, um, is it true that you did get a vitamin D deficiency? deficiency? Yeah, because there's no sunlight in the studio. The sun, so that so, it was literally you were just working flat out in the studio and yeah. you got it? Yeah, and then I went to the doctors and they were like, yeah, it might be something to do with low it's vitamin there, yeah. D. Then they well, were like, it's commitment. It's good commitment. And then my mum bought me some vitamin tabs, so cheers mum. Um, ben McQuig will be taking over from you as station manager next year. Who? Huh? Who? Uh, ben, ben McQuig. He's the next station manager. Oh, okay. I don't, yeah. I don't know who he is. Oh, you know who he is? No. Uh, I don't really, but it's just written here, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. Yeah, is there, is there any advice you'd give him personally, it's in terms of NASA as well, uh, but maybe it, in general, and also advice you'd give to the whole SUSE TV crew for next um, year? I think something I would have, that I probably should have done, was have like, a few committee socials before the start of the year to sort of get everyone to know each other and stuff like that but we sort of had to rush into it with freshers and stuff like that um, and it sort of just got a bit left. Expect not much, to, not to have much free time. Yeah. I think that's one, one thing. I don't think I could have done any other societies or anything yeah. this year and still done everything that we've done this year. And to, to, um, to a high quality as well. Yeah. Like it takes takes time. Like I mean, you can bash a video out and it'd be all right, but yeah. to refine it and make it good is does take some time. Um, what advice would you give to the new members, so like the freshers coming in next year? Um, let's say if they see this interview, probably won't. Um, but what would you tell them? Um, you got to basically be proactive. Yeah. Super TV is not the kind of thing like where you have, say, you're a part of a football team. You turn up on a Wednesday afternoon and you do. A training session and then you have a match on a Saturday and it's sort of like a regular thing it's sort yeah. of what you want to make of it so if you want to do a video don't wait for it to happen like get out there and do it yourself um, don't be scared to ask for help there'll be plenty of people around that can help yeah and just sort of do what you want to do rather than what you have to do like sometimes you get people that come like, oh, can you make this video about um, our radiator society or something? I don't know. I just looked at the radiator. And <laughs> that was the first thing that popped in my head. But, and then, and then you sort of do it because you want to say yes, but really you maybe you want to be making a video about yeah. something else, so a bit more important to you or something like that. So just do don't expect don't expect things to come to you. To, yeah. So do, do what you want to do, and then you'll be more motivated to do it, and there'll be a better end product. And I've, go and I've, to socials as well? Yeah, de important. definitely go to socials That's and for turn on notifications for the members group, like when people post, because like, <laughs> like sometimes we do our best to get it out there, but sometimes it gets missed, so yeah. like turn on notifications rather than waiting for Facebook. And if there's things that you think aren't going right, just yeah. tell someone, like don't be, don't be afraid to call people out, like say something hasn't happened for a while, like there hasn't been an event, just say yeah. the head of events, oh, do you think we should do this? Okay. Just because you're not on committee doesn't mean you can't have an impact. I, so, um, yeah. I think seeing Seuss TV as just committee has sort of been a thing that somehow happens. Yeah, yeah. People are like, oh, is this just for committee? It's like, no, the committee are there to do stuff yeah. for, you for you and yeah. run the station. Um, but yeah, it's all about the members and it's free. So yeah. why would you not join? <laughs> What do you, would you most want to see improved at CCTV? Keeping the studio tidy. Yeah. That's one thing that bugs me. People just clean up after yourself. Your parents aren't here to do it for you. Yeah. Um, that. I know. I know it's not a big thing, but it just helps everyone out. It's annoying when you come to do something and it's not there or it's not charged or it's missing. It's like, well, how am I going to do it now? Pretty boring. Is there anything else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to see improved? Like, what would you love to see when you're sitting at home doing nothing, unemployed, looking I'd, at Susu TV? And you're, wow! I'd like to see like a like a really ambitious live show. Live show. Like, well, that's like a, like a big, <laughs> <laughs> a proper set and um, proper production and uh -huh. everyone involved. Um, I don't know, just something that's something big. I know it's a hard thing to do, but I think people will be able to pull it off. It's just having the time. That's a good but I think something like that would be cool. Like something that's not really been done in student TV okay, before. So something different. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, what would you most want to be remembered for 
throughout your time at Susu TV? Like, your legacy? What are you most <laughs> proud of? Um, so if someone said, oh, Danny Rickard, oh, he did this. He did this. I guess, I guess just making, making it like a better society, just sort of trying to improve it the best we can. Yeah. Um, not like making it easier for people to get involved and hoping that more people were interested in TV yeah. because of what, what we've done, that sort of thing. Um, obviously, the NASA Awards is quite a big thing, but that's just sort of like a, a small part of the whole year. Um, but yeah, just- not, not even this year, like throughout your whole time as CCTV. I don't know. I guess, I guess just my aim was to sort of help people. Yeah. So just as long as I've achieved that in some way, sort of help people to do what they want to do and taught people something. Yeah. Be it whatever they whatever, whatever they've taken away from what I've told them, then yeah. Yeah, just something like that. Don't want to be remembered for being like a <laughs> big head or something. Um, right. Okay. Those are the serious questions. Oh, we, no. We'll go into quick fire. We've got some quick fire questions. All right. So yeah. you just have to answer as quickly as possible, yeah? Okay. Okay. Most annoying member? Curtis. Curtis. Wow. <laughs> uh, most underrated member? Most underrated? Yeah. So uh, behind the scenes. Doesn't no one really talks about him that much. Yeah. Him? <laughs> is, it, is it Luke? <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Dave Williams? Yeah, yeah, Dave. That's a good answer. Yeah. That's what I had in my head. <laughs> You're trying to force answers onto me? <laughs> <laughs> Most yeah. underrated video. So one that's maybe been put out, not many views, not many people seen it, but it's actually a really good video. Harvey's music video that he did sort of came out, but no one really yeah. spoke about it too much, but I think it you was really good. Noah or the most recent one? Uh, well, both you could say, but no, I was thinking of Noah, but um, yeah, I think that was one that was really, really well done yeah. and sort of got released. I think it came third at NASA for oh, Open, really? but obviously because it didn't come yeah. first or second and so people didn't really spoke about yeah. it that much, yeah. But yeah, I think, I think that was one of the... Harvey's music video. Yeah, one of my faves that was a bit underrated, yeah. Awesome. Um, funniest moment? It's been quite, there's been a, a lot of What, this moments. year or Yeah, let's say this year, because that, that, that's, that's a bit mean. Luke dancing in his pants loads of times. Cue video. That never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wine Happy here. birthday, great mate! Happy birthday! You moved. That's right. how. <laughs> I made it. I can't believe I actually ripped them. Oh That's honestly so funny. Funniest moment to do with you, let's say. What about I've done? Yeah. I don't do anything that funny. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it was probably when I was drunk doing something. Video. Video. <laughs> She's not allowed to say. No, please don't. Too bad. Okay. Um. Um, we'll move past that one. Um, best looking member, past or present? <laughs> not looking over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, over there, you can just look. Um, <laughs> You're looking at my hair. Probably Tom Smith. Yeah. No one will know who he is, but. Past or present. Or, or the maybe Brandon. <laughs> Least favourite member, answer in, in code or you can say their key characteristics. You can answer in code or just say their characteristics. I've never really had a least favourite member. Oh, you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember there was one guy that came to a training session. Yeah. And he did the training session and they were like, what do you think? And he was like, I don't think I'm going to do CCTV anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we did wrong. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to say a few things now. Oh, no. Words or phrases. Yeah. Just say the first thing that comes to mind, yeah? Okay. Okay. It's another sort of quick fire, but we know how you... Okay. Slow fire. Yeah, slow fire. Um, Susu. TV. Halloween carpool karaoke. Terrible. Lydia Palo. Smelly. Your media ball speech. Wobbly lip. <laughs> Wiggly. The worm. <laughs> Tom Pethick. Beard. <laughs> Nasta. Um, First thing that came to your mind, please. Bread roll. 
Bread roll. Bread roll. Oh, <laughs> bread roll. <laughs> Coconut. Giraffe. Your, <laughs> your nan. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Sex cramp. Um. Right. Now, as you can see, this is your this is your uh, profile picture. And now you've you like squished me out that <laughs> way. Now <laughs> you've done the opposite. Right. Uh, you made this yourself, or did Dave make it for you? Oh, uh, I made that one actually. You made it. And I think Dave spruced it up a little bit. Do you want to just read that? Folk Danny for Sushi TV station manager branding overhaul. Website. This oh. is what the website looks like. <laughs> I've been what, busy, right? What's, what's going on? Coming soon, sometime 2017. Well, I haven't just changed, I just haven't changed. 2018, mate. Yeah, I know, I haven't had time, I started it. Right. You can't see the behind the scenes. Oh, really? You're most known for your hair. Um, and yeah. Oh, Neil. Yeah, I think you've Me got, most known <laughs> you've for my hair. You've gone through a transition. Um, I just want you to explain on each one, what, what was your thinking? Um, what were you thinking with this one? So I'm guessing this is in this is in high school, yeah. Yeah, that was year. Is this is this the same day? Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, yeah. What are you doing? Was the Joker, weren't I? Move on a couple of years. He's gone for the Bieber. <laughs> the Bieber. Like, no, it has the Bieber. <laughs> now, obviously, you're a passionate fisherman. Um, tell yep. us a bit about that. What what what, what was going on there? My disc thing has just come out. <laughs> um, what, with the haircut or the fish? Both. Well, I went fishing and I caught that fish. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a nice... That, that's that one. I don't really know what's also. going on. That that haircut looks like I'm wearing a bloody melon <laughs> cut out around my head, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even, can't even come up with a name for that one. Yeah, um, I'm no, going to be... No, he acts, he, he's going, oh my god, so embarrassing. He's put that as his profile picture. No, I got fraped and no, someone, someone put it as my profile picture. <laughs> no. um, well, that was a little detour. Uh, you got the sheep now. Now, this one actually made me laugh, <laughs> laugh the most. <laughs> the curly know. hair. What, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, this isn't a haircut, but what is going on? <laughs> Yeah. Um, that was only like the other day, actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really one for photos, so I just <laughs> do stupid stuff because it's better. Now this one. Uh, what did you piss yourself or something? <laughs> well, I was trying to squeeze up so I could get jazz in, and then <laughs> yeah, you could squeeze up without putting your hand flat on your. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I got this one. That was on a geography. Was that on the same? Uh, that was on a geography trip. That was on a fishing endeavour. No, that okay. was a geography uh, trip. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that is the longest hand. <laughs> it's the <laughs> slender man. <laughs> oh god! You've got quite big hands, haven't you? Yeah, but they look yeah. they look weirdly big in that photo. Mate, that's mad. That makes me feel so unmanly. <laughs> I think we've got one last question, Danny, to wrap this interview up. Oh no, is it going to be wet? No, it's, it's not. Oh, I don't know. Um, what's next for Danny Rickard is what I've got right now. Well, you know that degree I did in computer science? No. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Not, yeah. Probably never going to use that. Yeah. Go on into the world of video and editing. Are you going to go straight there? Is that oh. definitely what you want to do with your life? I think so, at the moment. Um, I mean, I've done it for the past four years for free. So, I mean, getting paid to do the same thing can't be, can't be a bad thing. Exactly. I'm moving out on the 30th. No, I mean, are you going to visit us next year? Well, depends already, doesn't it? Depends on what. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, you've been a great mate. Thanks so much. Oh, no they're sweaty now. Yeah, yours are sweaty well, as well. Awesome.